Welcome to this web lecture on the assignment problem. In two previous web lectures, you first learned about the maximum flow problem and then learned about the Ford Fulkerson algorithm, which is an algorithm that allows you to solve the maximum flow problem. The assignment problem, though actually a completely different problem, can be cast into a maximum flow problem, which means that we can also solve it with the same algorithm. So, and how are we doing this? Before we look into how to actually do this, let's recap the problem. TU Airlines operates a network of direct flights in Europe, allowing passengers to change over between flights. They've had an issue. Their direct flight from Rome to Amsterdam was cancelled, which means that passengers must be reassigned to different flights. What we did with the maximum flow problem was we determined that we had two people that had to fly directly from Rome to Toulouse and then continue from there. And now what we would like to do is now we would like to determine which passenger shall sit on which seat. So how are we doing this? So we have two passengers, uh, which both use this flight from Rome to Toulouse, and passenger one has a business class ticket and thus can only sit, sit on seat A. Passenger two has a regular ticket and can sit on either seat A or seat B. Of course, passenger two would like to be upgraded, but we can't do anything about that just yet. So what are we doing? We want to cast it to a maximum flow problem, which means that we somehow need some nodes. First of all, the nodes that we're having is for the passengers. So we, on the left, we have the passenger nodes, one and two. And on the right, we have the seat uh, nodes, which is A and B. So now we ha somehow have to link that passenger one can only sit on the business class seat, passenger two can sit on both seats. So how are we doing this? We're having an arc from one to A. So this means that passenger one can only sit on seat A. We have two arcs going out of two, one to A and one to B, which is because passenger two has a regular ticket and can sit both on seat A and on seat B. And then the last thing that we have to do is we have to add sources and sinks. Then we have all nodes. Now, the problem is still that those sources and sinks are not actually connected to the nodes in the middle. And to do this, we're connecting the source to the passengers, and then we're going to connect the seats to the sink. So this is the entire process that we're having. Now, if we want to solve uh, the maximum flow problem, for instance, with the Ford Fulkerson algorithm, what we still need is capacities. So, because otherwise, how many people can sit where, uh, etc. That these questions are difficult to answer if we don't have any capacities. So what we're seeing is we have exactly one passenger one and we have exactly one passenger two which is why we're having this capacity of one here. We also have exactly one seat A and one seat B, which is denoted by the one on the right-hand side. And then, in theory, we could assign, no matter which, how many people we, wanna, we want, from one to A, from two to A, and from two to B. And this is because this is, in this case, only auxiliary. It doesn't have a real meaning what exactly we assign here. We just want to assign a value that is sufficiently high. And so we're using the infinity here. And if you have this network, if you have this graph, then you have a maximum flow problem, even though you originally started with assigning passengers to seats, which means you can solve it with a maximum flow problem. So what I would like you to take away from the assignment problem is, first of all, how to reformulate a problem and we did this on the example of a, an assignment problem that we cast into a maximum flow problem. And secondly, what I would like you to do as a homework is find the assignments that we need. So determine how, uh, which passenger is now going to sit on which seat, both on this relatively small problem, but also on a, a bigger problem on the actual network 